the last couple of years. Um, I sort of been trying to like throw out little hints to kind of just advertise or at least let people know, you know, I'm not where I once was. I'm not where I used to be. Um, and even when I didn't know where I was, I knew I wasn't totally where I used to be. Um, and that just is on some like on some on some social matters, political matters, um, not even theological. Just I don't I don't see things the way some folks in my Christian community do. A lot of folks in my Christian community do. Uh, but then there were others who were in the Christian community who I did see it eye to eye with you, um, even when I was wrestling with the theology. Um, so what am I saying? Uh, I'm really making this video because I know uh, the word has kind of gone out uh, to uh, to from some people who were part of the church that I, I was uh, that I was at for the last maybe four or five years I uh, recently sent a letter to the church um, withdrawing my membership from the church um, and it was a heavy heavy letter because as I said in the letter I was not just withdrawing my membership from this local body uh, it's actually the the universal church that I said you know what I really can't amen what I used to amen um, and there's no beating around the bush, even though I have been beating around the bush. Um, yeah, what am I saying? I'm, I'm still having a hard time saying it. You see me struggling to even get the words out. Uh, and the struggle, to be honest with you, with you, the struggle is not even really for me at this point. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm where I'm. I think I'm going to be. Uh, my struggle is I know that there are a there's a world of people who are going to be crushed, who are going to be let down and disappointed and hurt and sad and um, uh, by hearing uh, hearing this. But anyway, I sent the letter to my church withdrawing my membership and saying um, that I, I um, yeah, saying that I am uh, denouncing the Christian faith that I have believed, professed, proclaimed, and defended for the last 30 years of my life. Uh, 30 years. So a quote unquote Christian rapper fanatic has renounced his faith in Christianity. And what I want to go ahead and do is analyze exactly what he said in this three minute video. And I want to do that in parts, three specific parts um, as to why he's doing this. To break this down a little bit so the first part is and this is word for word in the beginning of the video he states i'm not where i used to be now what he's saying is i'm no longer a christian okay now we as christians know that he was never a christian first john 2 19 makes it clear that he went out from us because they, he was never of us for if he had been of us he would have continued with us but they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us so it's we know that he was never a christian to begin with uh, but there was an obvious reason why he left Christianity. There are obvious specific reasons why he left Christianity. Uh, the first being that he's lost. And then there is a definitive reason for why he left. And that leads me into point two. Now, I'm quoting him word for word where he says on social matters, political matters, not even theological, but that I don't see things the way those in my Christian community do. Now, we know that he's talking about social justice issues, race issues. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me. This is at the heart why he's really turning his back on Christianity. The man is lost. And when you're unconverted, what your desire is, is not God, but whatever you grab. I made a video recently uh, by Vody Bauckham, shiny objects. And this is what people do. They use things like social justice, Black Lives Matter within Christianity, and they hold on to it as though it were a shiny object. And it becomes the idol. It becomes the idol. Uh, and it becomes about that thing and not the glory of God. And that's really what this is. And what he's basically saying is he's quoted as saying he has kind of butt, butt heads with other Christians in the Christian community. And I'm guaranteeing it's based on these social issues. And that's where the frustration has come from. 
And it's gotten to a point where he says, you know what, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of the Christian community. They're, they're not supporting this. They should be on board with this. And they're not. I don't like this. I'm done. And that's really what it really is. Um, and the third point, this is him quoting him. He says, I've withdrawn myself from the universal church. And the struggle is not really with me at this point. I'm good. My struggle is for the world of people that will be crushed and let down that I'm, I'm done with Christianity. And see, this is the ignorance of the reprobate mind. This is the foolishness in which the sinner doesn't understand the danger that he's in. See, he's taking Christianity as though he was a part of some kind of club. And now that he's left the club and turned his back, there are going to be people that are going to be sad. What he doesn't realize is he's lost. He's at enmity with God. He's an enemy of God. He doesn't understand that he's going to hell. He's on his way to hell. So this isn't about people or fans that are going to be crushed that you're no longer, quote, unquote, a Christian. You're on your way to hell. You need to be saved from the wrath of God. And see, this is the issue. Because he was never saved, he never really grasped what Christianity was about. It's just, this is not a social club. This is not something you join and then you renounce your membership because the, 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 the leading bodies argued and, and didn't come to an agreement about something. This is about saving your soul. OK, and so this is it's sad. It's sad. Uh, it's what's sad is he was never a Christian to begin with. And so <clears throat> we need to be very careful when we follow people who claim to be Christians. I don't care if someone calls himself a Christian. That means nothing to me. Christian can mean anything in this world. This is a wicked, sinful world. Uh, so whenever someone asks or tells me that they're a Christian, I, I got to sit down and talk to them before I can say, yeah, OK, this isn't a brother or a sister in Christ. We got to talk. Because I want to know where your mind is. At. I want to know what you believe. OK, um, so, it, you know, and this is what we're seeing. We're seeing people that a lot of people, a lot of teachers that we've regarded as uh, biblical, reformed people who have led us and people that we followed. They're coming out and we're starting to see things now. What's going on? And a lot of these guys are falling away. They're teaching heresy. And it's, it's so you really have to examine people. you got to examine people. Don't just take their word because they call themselves a Christian or because they're a pastor. You got to examine what they believe and what they teach. And uh, so, yeah, thank you for listening.